Welcome to Hydrogeology 101 Key Concepts. We have a question here which is uh, designed to illustrate some of the concepts of storage in an unconfined aquifer. Um, you have an aquifer composed of sandy gravel. It covers an area of about 2 square kilometers with a saturated thickness of 30 meters. So here's a picture of what our sandy gravel aquifer could look like. And we're told it has a porosity of 30%, a specific yield of 20%, and a specific retention of 10%. The aquifer covers an area of 2 square kilometers. And we have a depth to the static water level of 20 meters. Below that, we have a saturated aquifer with 30 meters of thickness, which means that from the ground surface to the bottom of the aquifer is about 50 meters. We can never completely pump out all the groundwater in our saturated aquifer, and we're going to assume that the bottom 5 meters of the aquifer cannot be exploited. That means that of our saturated thickness of 30 meters, 25 meters could be drained. That's 30 meters, take away 5 meters, makes 25 meters. So this is our conceptual model of the aquifer dimensions. It's very useful to make a little sketch like this every time you make some calculations, just to make sure that you fully understand what the situation is. Let's have a look at our first question, which is to calculate the volume of the saturated aquifer. That means the total volume of all the sand, gravels and water which are below the water table. Going back to our conceptual model, um, if we want to calculate the volume of the aquifer, the first thing we're going to need is the area. We know the area is 2 square kilometers, so that makes 2 million square meters. Remember, 1 square kilometer is 1,000 by 1,000 meters, times about 2, you've got 2 million. The other thing we need to know is the saturated thickness. So that's from the water table all the way to the bottom of the aquifer, which is 30 meters. Now let's look at the total volume. Uh, we have the area times by the thickness, which means 2 million square meters times by 30 meters, which makes 60 million cubic meters. So that's the total volume of our saturated aquifer below the water table, so from the water table all the way to the bottom of our aquifer. Our next question is to calculate the volume of groundwater in the aquifer. That means how much water is in the saturated part of our aquifer. Remember, it's going to be only a fraction of the total volume of the aquifer. In this case, if we have a porosity of 0.3, that means we'd have about 300 liters of water in each cubic meter of saturated sandy aquifer. Coming back to our conceptual model, we calculated the total saturated volume of the aquifer 60 million cubic meters, and we know that our porosity is 0.3 or 30 percent. So to calculate our total groundwater in storage, we simply multiply the saturated aquifer volume by the porosity. So 60 million times by 0.3 makes 18 million cubic meters of groundwater. So that's the total amount of groundwater in storage below the water table. So from the water table all the way to the bottom of the aquifer, 18 million cubic meters. The next question is to calculate the volume of exploitable groundwater. So that means how much groundwater we can actually remove by pumping from the aquifer. Remember that if we have a fully saturated aquifer, we can never remove all the water that is inside that aquifer. Part of it will remain stuck to the sand grains. This is something we call specific retention. The part of the water which can actually be removed by drainage is called the specific yield. Coming back to our conceptual model, remember that we cannot drain the bottom 5 meters of the aquifer. So the 
volume of aquifer that is exploitable will be from the water table down to here. That's about 25 meters. The volume of this drainable part of the aquifer is the area, 2 million square meters, times by the thickness of 25 meters, which is 50 million cubic meters. Our specific yield, so that means the drainable part of the porosity, is 0 0.2. So now we can calculate the exploitable groundwater volume, which will be our volume of aquifer that can be drained multiplied by the specific yield. So it makes 50 million times by 0 0.2, the specific yield, and we end up with 10 million cubic meters of groundwater. So here are the answers to our question. The saturated volume of the aquifer is 60 million cubic meters. The total groundwater in storage is 18 million cubic meters. But we can only exploit an estimated 10 million cubic meters of groundwater. So if you select the third answer here and press the turn in button, you should get a nice green tick for your answer. And I hope you enjoyed it very much. And thank you very much for your attention.